All right, guys. So I'm kind of, I've come across my first uh, neutron star between Sagittarius A and Colonia on my way to Colonia from Sagittarius A. So um, I'll kind of show you what I did really quick. So my preference here when I'm uh, plotting routes in the uh, galaxy map is uh, for long distance like this, I'm actually filtering and sorting by star class, and I've actually taken out the white dwarfs. So because when you when you use the uh, jet cone boosts from the neutron stars, it'll white dwarfs will still count for that, but um, you don't get as much of a, a boost um, in distance. So we want the, the non-sequence stars, I believe, are the neutron stars. Um, so take the take the white dwarfs out, and then when you go to plot, make sure you've got you know fastest route and use jet cone boost. Um, and then <clears throat> in here, you want the uh, apply filter to route option. <clears throat> So here's our first one, and as you can see, that's a 185 light year jump. <clears throat> so uh, I'll kind of show you my uh, preference for how to do this. Um, but as we approach, so I'm a little bit further away than what you would be um, when you normally come into the system, just because I was out there exploring. But you can kind of see where the uh, don't go line is there on the uh, on the star but basically what I do is I like to kind of set myself up like this and then point into so I kind of go with the um, uh, jet cones that are coming out the top or bottom because you need to stay in it as long as you can to get that boost and make sure you slow down and as long as you can it kicks you around and that was perfect timing. Uh, sometimes you have to go back in and it's a pain in the butt. Um, but I was in there for just the right amount of time to get the uh, frame shift drive supercharged. So now I can point and shoot um, and 185 light year jump. So normally I was getting high 40s um, just by using my regular frame shift drive. So this will be great. Um, so uh, it's uh, shaving off uh, probably close to 100 jumps um, from what it looked like. Um, or a good good chunk of jumps. I, I didn't. Uh, I tried to plot it two different ways, just out of curiosity to see how it looked. And it, w it was originally gave me 250 some, and now, now it gave me 140 or something like that. So we're showing up at another one right away. So uh, we'll uh, continue our pattern here, and I'm going probably too fast. But I got stuck in it. Perfect. And throttle back up. There. And just make sure uh, your destination isn't through the star. Drive and yeah, I'm at uh, 132 jumps. So I was about maybe between 10 and 20 jumps from Sagittarius A uh, when I came across that first star. So we'll go through these here and see how far it gets us before we need to figure out how to refuel or repair. Looks like it was just those two. <clears throat> so we'll refuel off of this star, and then I'll go in and quick repair my bridge of drive. Probably didn't take very much damage. We'll do that. Right away. Fuel disengaged. Slow down, you'll have to drop out of super cruise for this um, because your frameshift drive does get shut down. Frameshift drive charging. Done, select my route here. And it's just a matter of going over to your modules panel and we'll actually see how much. Where's my frameshift drive? Here, let's go. Shift drive. So it took 2%, so 1% per star. So go in, hit repair. So you need your auto field maintenance unit for this, and it's not going to take very long for 2%, but you could see that the uh, 
am, ammo or quantity in the uh, auto field maintenance unit went down. And then you do have to turn your module back on, and it'll take a second back going. And it looks like we're all set to go. Frame shift drive charging. So obviously you don't need to repair every time you hit a couple of stars. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you how I go in and do that. I'll wait a little bit longer um, before repairing it. Um, sometimes you'll get a little bit better of a chain than just the two stars like that. So um, that's what it is. Here we are coming up on another one. Continue to slow down until you're, as you uh, approach it, because you, again, remember you want to stay in it as much as you can. Perfect. I'm surprised I'm doing this this good here when I'm recording. And it kicked me out at just the right time, too. Yeah, looks like we're good. So, 188 for that one. I'm gonna refuel, but that's the gist of uh, how, to, how to use the uh, Neutron Star boost. Um, so yeah, that shaves off uh, quite a few jumps. Just make sure if you're really, really far out there and far away from stations that you bring along an auto field maintenance unit so you can repair.